see it. I think that's what it says. Block train. All right, so this is actually a Frank special. It's left me a bath. Um, half full. We'll let that go when we're done. They weren't able to clear it. They, uh, they don't know where it runs or what's going on here. So I pulled out the pan. That's where they went from yesterday. That's off. Pull that out. Should just come out. it's holding water down there they said they finally cleared it but it still holds water so I don't know what's going on that's why they called me up uh, left one of choice we'll just go down with the little spinner in case there's something weird going on yeah I can hear that's underwater see if we can hear that under the ground somewhere I think it runs to the front This is the vent pipe, the micro flap. This joins into the to the uh, boundary trap, but the boundary trap must be under here somewhere. So we'll try and get a locate on that if we can. My other camera's in the. Uh, hospital getting fixed so we've got to use the old rigid comes in handy how was the camera Over. 
push through. Now what? That looks like our hose. Couldn't be. That's someone's plunger. That's another plumber's plunger that they put down the line. They've tried to clear it from here with a plunger. Unbelievable. And they've just snapped it off and left it in there. That is crazy. Crazy business. Alright, so we've got to get a plunger out. We've got to locate the, uh, the boundary trap. Which I think is there. Yeah, that's the boundary trap. I just went past with the camera and we dropped down. There's the um, there's the base of it. You can see the inlet. Okay. So we might locate where that is. Okay. X marks the spot. where the boundary trap is there's a plunger stuck in there and there's a blockage somewhere between here and there all right so I guess we've got to get this tile up see what's underneath looks like other plumbers have had a go looking for it they haven't been successful they didn't look underneath this one did they And that's it that's definitely it is what you call a Frank special if you're watching Frank thanks a lot mate
pheasant going up for a while. There we go. What do we got here? We got someone's plunger, we got the camera, and we got the boundary trap. First things first, we might pull that old plunger out. What a fine specimen. Hey. Better out than in they say. Okay, so we've come through the uh, the vent pipe, which is the micro flap. Below that, down the bottom there, that's what we're after. We need to shoot back up that line. We might put the camera up and see what's going on if we can, because I think there might be an issue. I need to put my plunger down to get the camera up. Oh. Now I need to flick it in and then use this to guide it off. Pushing it down, wait for the little clonk. Yeah, there's the clonk. Now bring this up. there. Uh, I don't know what that is floating in there or flying. Looks like bubbles or something but um, I think we've come past our, our connection. I think this is a shared connection for a few properties. Um, I don't know what is going on here. Okay, that's what's going on. I think it's a it's a broken pipe. See it's coming apart there. We might try and clear it from this end. It'll be 
be the best bet. I'll grab the jet or jet up here and clear it this way. There we go. Got it. Something's not right down there because I'm getting stuck with my nozzle. choice RS38 we're gonna flip that in it up there
well there is something jammed in there it's big and white I don't know what that is but it shouldn't be there that big thing like a bit of pipe And he gives me the very best. The water's still coming. like a bag and behind that bag there's something big and white wedged in there pretty well. is the pipe so it's probably about that fat that's a big piece of plastic pipe or I don't know what that is Alright, 
we might try the little axe see if we can get behind it and pull it out without getting stuck put the little axe in Yeah. <laughs> I found I, it. Yeah, I found your boundary trap. What's that? I found your boundary trap. Right. I also found something else. If you come around here and have a look, you've got a massive object stuck in the pipe. What the hell would they get that thing? I have no idea. Right. Looks like a big piece of, I don't know, pipe, but it's taken up the full. Oh, you reckon it's like a pipe or something that's collapsed or...? It could be collapsed behind it, but that's... That, I don't know. It looks like a big piece of plastic pipe or something that's been cut off. Stuck in there. That's a plastic bag. Plastic bag? Yeah. God, how would a plastic bag get down there? Exactly. So, right, pipe and something else? Yes. From the bag, right. Okay. So I'm trying to clear it up and uh, try and pull it out yeah. and then pull it out of here. That was also stuck in there. That was in there for many years. What? This. Get out of here. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> That's a plunger. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's your vent pipe. They All put right. the plunger down trying to clear it from there, snapped it off and left it there. It's probably been in there for 20 years. I wonder if they, I wonder if this is, I wonder if that's been there for 20 years and that was the last time they tried to fix it. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> what are your, uh, what's your confidence like on this one? Um, I'm not too confident that we're going to be able to pull this out because it's wedged in there. So all I can yeah. try and do is loosen it up, try and drag it back. Yeah. If not, we have to locate it, dig down and pull it out by hand. What about if there's plastic around it? You confident getting that, like a partial? Oh, it's already partial, but it's not going to last long. The toilet paper and everything else is going to plug it. Right. I don't think it's just your property connected. I think there's like one, two, three, four properties connected to it. Oh, no way. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a special job. It's not your run of the mill. Right. Oh, so this could have come from any property, right? Exactly. Right. Who knows where it's come from? Right. Um, if there's been bathroom renovations, something like that, yeah. that could have been slack. It's gone down the system. Yeah. All right, All right. thanks, Mark. Yeah, I think so.
for the old knees. getting past yeah, that's all hair backed up behind it as well I think it's a shared line oh, okay. and all the properties are connected to this boundary trap oh, okay, right. and there's an object wedged in the pipe oh, okay. so can you hear it in your toilet yeah. okay yeah. gee I've gone past the plastic thing and as I pull back, it's getting caught behind the plastic thing. And I can't get my hose now. In and stuck behind that. There's the hose stuck. Looks like there's other stuff stuck behind it as well. All right. Try not to get both of them stuck. We might try and bang it out with this. got a bit of weight to it
that in. So we're gonna go up and try and donk it out of the way. Freed up that one. All right, I guess we're going to treat trying to get that out I'll pull my other hose out yeah I got my hose out that got stuck behind it right I've moved it a little bit it oh, yeah, looks different doesn't it yeah it looks like a bit off the back of a toilet um <laughs> It's, it's yeah, awesome. that's all hair that's caught up behind it. Yeah. And the lady next door came out and was wondering what all the noise was, but she heard it coming up her toilet, so she's connected to it and probably those lot. Right, right. But my head went behind and got caught, so I've just had to use my other reel. Why would it be creating more of a problem for here than there? Unfortunately, you're... Closer to it? Or? Yeah, you're feeling the brunt of it. Right. other side from the toilet and see if we can push it down from there.
There's my nozzle. There's my nozzle pointing in there. So this runs up here. So whatever it is is stuck up this way. And we can actually Might let the bath go. So that's the bath. Plastic was stuck behind that white thing, whatever the white thing is. see but that's where we came to with the camera so his line is just a bit past that plastic object which is good which means he's up and running for now can't say the same for the people behind him but if we hold that there flush the toilet with paper we should see it come down through there so he's going to be clear but they're still going to have to uh, dig up and pull that thing out might locate where that is. Let's go hunting. Richard. So it's about a metre deep.
So that's about a meter deep. X marks the spot. Take a photo of that for evidence for Frank, so Frank knows what's he, what he's dealing with. Boundary trap. Would be good to pull that out, but I don't want to risk getting my head caught. Seeing as they were already flowing now. I'll put the toilet back in. Put that there. Got to stick this on the back of the uh, toilet. Push that on there. Line that up. Drop that in there. Line that up there. that on put this on toilet paper try that toilet paper in there That'll be good for the toilet paper test. You know what's stuck in there? One of these things. I can see the angle on there. That is stuck in the line and the pipe is dislodged and that's what it's stuck with.
silicon. Toilet pipe is in there. We'll do a toilet pipe attached now. Coming out for this end now? Yeah, no. I've, I've actually cleaned your line, clear it. That bit of uh, plastic, I think it's one of these, that's gone down the system. Right. From whoever, no, from upstream. Um, now I'm gonna do a toilet paper flush test. They're still gonna have to dig it up out there and retrieve it, because it's gonna, it's gonna cause problems for everyone, including you, eventually. Um, can you just flush your toilet for me in about five seconds time? All right. Okay, ready when you are. All right, on the count of three, we should see it come down here. One, two, three. Would you believe four? There we go. There's the paper. Very good. I see you've done it. Yeah, that's, that's your line there. Right. I've managed to push this back up, so it's not sitting in your line. But that might come back down eventually. Plus all the other people are going to back up behind it. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's going to that's going to come out, spew out, and that's going to cause issues on your line. Yeah. But for now, you're you're actually clear. So all of this here, that was all backed up behind it too. Right. So obviously someone's done some renovation and it's got down there. Um, I'm just going to pull this out and the uh, plunger if you can do one more test I want to see the paper come through here so you want me to splash it yeah with, with paper again please Mark okay. uh, I'm just going to pull my um, this one out and then I'll give you a hoi On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Would you believe four? How about five? Five it is. Beautiful. That's a win. All good. Sort of. All good, Mark. <laughs> oh, good for a while, anyway. <laughs> if you have a look up there, there's a um, there's a pink dot. That's where they need to dig. Right. That's where your line drops down on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's where that thing is stuck. All good, Jetta. All good. <laughs> 